Dobry then, hello everybody, my name's Dennis and welcome to New Local Tools. Today on the show we're checking out my top 5 picks of safety boots that we stock from Apache Industrial Workwear. boots they are kind of unavoidable because they protect your feet from stepping on nails and other sharp objects on top of that if you're working on site they're a part of your PPE most of the time I understand I work in a tool shop I know that finding the right safety boot for you and your foot might be a bit of a process that's why we're here to help this is why we at New Local Tools are making this video so that you can come into our shop try on the pair of boots that you found interesting and have the most positive and efficient experience when it comes to figuring out what safety boots are right for you. Now, all of these safety boots are in what we would call a medium price bracket, which means that they're not budget, but they're not very expensive. At the time of filming, they're between 40 and 60 pounds. There's a few things that you might need to know when it comes to the terminology of things, which is why we're gonna go through that right now before we get to the actual countdown. The use of the phrase non-metallic or composite when it comes to the steel toe cap or the midsole, that's the sole that runs along the length of the boot, refers to the fact that the material will not conduct heat and will pass through a metal detector if it needs to. The thing that's so good about non-metallic and composite materials in the toe cap and the actual midsole of the boot is that the material is almost equally strong to steel, but it takes up less space because it's thinner. Now, if you have a problem like me and you have a really wide foot, this allows more space in the boot for your foot to fill, so you don't have to go up a size just to make sure that your foot fits in the boot comfortably. Another difference that we need to talk about is the difference between waterproof and water resistant. Water resistant means that the safety boot can resist penetration of water to some degree. Let's say that you're working outside or on site and there is a lot of rain or you're working in wet conditions the boot that is water resistant will be resistant to water in form of rain, puddles and other means. Whereas a waterproof boot will be waterproof no matter what you do. The difference here is that the water resistant boot might be water resistant to a certain degree. But if you know that you're going to be working somewhere that you might step in a very deep puddle or you know it's going to be extremely wet then go for a waterproof. The first safety boot that we're gonna take a look at today is the Apache AP314CM. It's a very classic looking honey colored safety boot that features a steel toe cap, a composite material midsole that protects your feet from stepping on nails and other sharp objects that is covered in this very nice rubber sole as well. It's water resistant all the way up to these new book uppers. And all in all, it's a very, very classic looking and comfortable safety boot. The next boot on my list is these Ranger Brown boots. They are a full leather waterproof boot that features a steel toe cap, a fully steel midsole that's encased in this rubber. It has a TPU or a thermoplastic Eutherain heel support for better fit and more comfort when you stand for long days. And on top of that, it's fully waterproof, even with this thick padded tongue that gives you a lot and a lot of comfort for long days at work. All in all, it's a very, very versatile boot that you can use in a lot of different applications, regardless if you're on site or at home. So the third boot on my list today is a bit of a fun one. It's this guy, which is called the Flyweight Dealer. Now, it's a very, very lightweight and water resistant safety boot that has these elasticated sides for easy foot entry so that you don't have to deal with laces if you're in a rush. It features an aluminium toe cap and a composite material midsole that protects your feet from stepping on nails and other sharp things on site. All right, so of course I had to say the best two boots for last, and I'll be completely honest with you, these are two of the most badass rugged safety boots I have ever met. Let me show them to you right now. All right, so boot number four I'm gonna show you is called the Arizona. It looks like this. It's very, very similar to the AP314CM in the fact that it has this honey color to it but it has a very, very, very good feature. 
So let me talk to you quickly about this boot. It has a non-metallic toe cap as well as a non-metallic midsole that runs through the length of the shoe that's covered in this lovely rubber footprint. It's also heat resistant up to 300 degrees as well as the fact that it's waterproof thanks to its inner breathable membrane. So this shoe will breathe and not cause you to sweat unnecessarily but at the same time it's completely waterproof and it's just a solid safety boot for any environment no matter how harsh it might be. All right this one's the last boot on the list and it's the Dakota. It has a lot of the same features as the Arizona that we looked at just earlier but the main difference being the fact that this is made out of black leather with a mesh upper. Like I said earlier about the Arizona it has a non-metallic toe cap and a non-metallic midsole. It's heat resistant up to 300 degrees and on top of that it's completely watertight and it has a breathable inner membrane so that your foot can stay fresh while you get the job done. All in all it's a very very solid safety boot for any environment no matter how harsh. So that was it for this video. I hope you found any of the knowledge usable and hopefully we can assist you in finding the perfect safety boot for your needs. If you want to come visit our shop here in London, you can find a complete address down below in the description box along with all of our other associated links. And as always, I'll see you in a while.